Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about perches for parrots. I'm gonna talk about the most common perches. Obviously, I can't cover absolutely everything. So if there's something I don't speak about in this video, please leave me a comment down below if you want my opinions on it or uh, anything like that. But I'm gonna show you some of the ones I've got. I'll have pictures for some of the ones I don't. And I'll be talking about pros and cons of them. I'll be talking about things to look for for perches as well. So I suppose we'll get straight into it. So the first kind of perch I'm gonna talk about are Java wood perches. These come in lots of amazing different ways I've got this mini stand here you can get big Java tree stands love to have one of those one day you can get perches that you can put in your birds cage as well now Java wood is very very hard so it's very good especially for big beaks because sometimes they can go through some of the softer woods with just one bite so this is super hard so it's really good to use in bigger birds cages it's fine for smaller birds as well um, the thing with Java wood is it's kind of slippery and um, obviously it's a natural wood so it's going to come in lots of different shapes and sizes. If the kind of branches are formed in a certain way that your bird's going to be slipping on them it's not going to be a pleasant surface for them. Some people will also vet wrap some of the java branches to give a bit of more texture so birds can grip on them but then you've got the issue of uh, vet wrap being impossible to clean and also it gets a bit sticky but there are of course some java wood branches that are formed in such a perfect way that they provide lots of uh, interesting opportunities for your birds to move around. They always come in different kind of thicknesses and it is a really good wood to use but you just need to be really mindful of how the branch is kind of shaped and how it's going to work for your bird and where you place it in the cage as well. Another wood very similar to this is manzanita wood. We do have a few of these perches especially in uh, Pickles and Stampy's cage. Uh, I think Olive's got one as well. Um, this again is a very hard wood. Um, it comes in lots of different shapes and sizes but it is a little bit smooth compared to some of the others so you just again need to be mindful of perch placement and um, how you're using it with your birds. Now, one of my favourite perches to provide to my birds are platform perches. Now, this one is from Zumax. Um, I think I got it from Northern Parrots. I get pretty much all of my perches from Northern Parrots or Amazon. Again, the links are always down in the description if you want to go and have a peek. Um, these are actually really affordable. I think they're about five or six pounds. Um, and they are just so much fun. They give your bird the opportunity to kind of rest their feet and have them out nice and flat. Um, you can obviously have toys near these so they can go and play on here and play with the toys. Um, they like to chew them. <laughs> We've gone through so many of them because the boys love to just sit on them and chew them and that's great because it means that they're busy having fun. So I'm all for that and I'm happy to replace them when we need to. Um, but yeah, these are really, really brilliant and you can get them in lots of different kinds of kind of platform perches. You can get ones like these, you can get ones where this area is kind of cut off so it's um, in a different shape. You can get um, manzanita perches that are flat. There's just lots of different opportunities and I highly recommend having at least one flat platform perch in your bird's cage. So the next kind of perch I wanted to talk about are calcium perches. Now of course we want to be looking to source calcium in our bird's diet from lots of different natural sources but it is okay to use calcium perches in their cages as well. Now one of my favourite ones for the birds are these calcium and iodine shells. So this is kind of like a platform perch as well which again is another really awesome thing to add. Uh, especially chipmunk fish love this, this is probably their favourite perch that they have. Um, and it's just brilliant because you know obviously birds are going to be chewing their perches and if they chew the calcium and iodine ones they're going to be getting those minerals as well. Uh, just be really careful because they're sometimes hard to clean and obviously they're kind of a little bit porous as well because it's made out of natural materials so after a while you really do just have to throw them out and put a new one in because they get a bit tricky to clean. You can get them in different sizes, you can get long ones, you can get ones with kind of wavy textures, we've got a few of those um, but yeah it's really good to just have just as an added extra. Again I always recommend trying to source the calcium in your bird's diet from a natural source don't just rely on calcium perches and uh, cuttlefish, things like that. You want to be getting lots of lovely, healthy, raw goodies into your bird's diet. But as I said, having calcium perches in there is also a really a brilliant thing to do. Now let's talk about sanding perches. Now there's a lot of kind of myths around uh, perches needed for sanding your bird's nails down. There are some that are terrible, there are some that are good, uh, and there are some that are kind of in between. So what you don't want, you do not want are sandpaper covers for perches. They are very bad for your bird's feet, very abrasive. They're really gonna cause lots of abrasions underneath on their foot pads, which is gonna cause more problems. Things like bumble foot are very possible for birds with uh, perches like that, and you absolutely do not want that. If you'd like to know more about how to keep your bird's feet nice and healthy, I do have a video all about foot health in birds. I highly recommend watching that after this. There's going to be links up and below and after the video as well. So that is kind of a, a good pairing with this video so you can get all the information about how to keep your bird's feet nice and healthy. 
Now you can get some that have sand kind of glued to the perch. We don't really recommend those again because you don't want your birds to be picking off the sand and eating it, with, especially with the glue as well. So we recommend avoiding those. You can also get some sanding perches where the top of the perch where your bird's foot pads sit is um, kind of smooth and then the other sides are sanded for their nails. They sound good in principle but again your bird is going to be sitting on something smooth. When your birds sit on something smooth as I said with other kinds of perches and they're sitting on a very similar kind of texture all day long it's going to be rubbing it's going to be causing blisters again which could potentially lead to bumblefoot. It's exactly the same with a sanding perch so you've got to get a happy medium of the different textures in your bird's cage. Again I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later on. Now the sanding perches that we do recommend are these ones. This is from a brand called Beaks I think and this is actually made from um, crushed seashells so it's a natural material if your birds chew it it's not going to harm them um, and we really like these I go through a lot of these uh, I just put in another order so I've got lots to replace in the birds cages but these are brilliant because they are natural yes they've got texture on them but the thing with sanding perches or sanded perches or whatever you want to call them is you don't want them to be in the place where your bird spends them most of their time you want them to be spread around so when your bird is moving around their cage they hop up here they'll kind of scrape their nails as they do and then they'll hop onto something else you don't want them to be spending so much time on a rough surface like this that's not the intention of them so it's all about kind of being mindful of perch placement when you are setting up your bird's cage absolutely fine to include these but don't have them where your bird is going to be spending all of their time you could put them in front of their food bowls maybe just a place where they like to look out next to their favorite toy something like that but i wouldn't have it as like a sleeping perch or anything like that because it's not going to be as comfortable on the base of their feet you're going to want something different which I'll talk about in a little bit but these are awesome we go through a lot of these so just be really careful about what you're buying for your birds and what kind of textures they are and how that might feel on their feet as well now another popular type of perch for our birds are rope perches. Now there are loads of different materials but I recommend going for ones that are natural. And when I say natural I'm talking about sisal or sisal depending on what you uh, call it. This is what this is here. You can get hemp rope, coconut rope, jute rope, things like that. Um, these are very good for your bird's feet, it gives them a bit of a rest, they're a bit softer than some of the kind of hard perches and of course with things like these they're really bendy so you can turn them into like spirals or have them all across the cage, there's lots of opportunities with these. They are a little bit harder to clean uh, so again you have to be really mindful about perch placement and you know getting replacements and things. Um, these ones that I got, the sisal ones are from Northern Parrots, we've got the smalls and the mediums and they're very very good. Now. Let's talk about cotton rope because we talk about that a lot in various different videos. We don't necessarily recommend cotton rope for all birds. Now, if birds do chew on cotton rope, they can actually get something called crop impaction because all this cotton goes into their crop and they can't digest it properly. Obviously very serious, so we don't want that. However, if your bird doesn't chew cotton rope, you can still use it. That's not a problem. So you have to be really careful about how your bird interacts with some of these perches. So for example, we originally, back in the day when we got chip and fish, we gave them a cotton rope, but we noticed that they started to chew it. So they couldn't have that anymore and they had sisal going forward. Whereas Olive never chewed the cotton rope. However, we ended up replacing it anyway because some of them have really dodgy kind of um, fixings to the cage and it's really annoying. But be very mindful about how your birds interact with the perches and just keep them nice and safe. Now the other risk with cotton rope as well, is if the fibres do come off just through general wear and tear, birds can actually get their nails or their toes caught in there and obviously that's not too good as well. I don't really see that happen very often with things like sisal and uh, coconut and hemp and stuff because that's not really how it's formed. But again, it's good to be aware of all the risks and weigh up uh, all the kind of pros and cons so you can work out what's best for your bird. Next up, we're talking about natural perches. Now these perches can either come up with the bark on or with the bark off. We love it when they have bark on because birds love to pick off bark. It's something they do in the wild, so it's great to give them that opportunity under human care. You can get them in different sizes and shapes. We really like these forked ones. Again, these are from Amazon. I've got the big ones and we've got the small ones as well. These are the kind of perches that we offer for sleeping perches, especially for pickles and scampi. They love to kind of sit on the forked bit and snuggle, which is really cute. Um, but these are absolutely fine to give to your birds. And uh, just make sure the wood is nice and safe when you are offering it to your birds. Um, but yeah, it's really fun, it's very enriching, and with natural perches, of course, you're gonna get different diameters, different textures, especially with the bark. Now, let's talk about getting natural branches from outside. This isn't something I do, not because it's bad, but because it's not something I can do at the moment, but you have to be very careful if you are going to source branches from outside, what to do about them. 
Now, if you have a garden and you have bird safe trees, because we have to be very careful that the wood we use is safe, then of course you can give that to your birds as long as you clean it properly, uh, sanitize it, all that kind of stuff. But if you're going out into the big outdoors and you're looking for natural branches to get for your birds, you have to be very careful. One, because you don't know if where you're getting it from has any pesticides. We do not want that on the branches for birds. It's very, very dangerous. Two, you may not have permission to take branches from the outside. You can't just go hacking in some random field or someone's private land. And three, you have to be very careful of animal health in general. Now in the UK, we seem to have a bout of bird flu every winter. And of course, we do not want to be bringing in perches from the outside that have been exposed potentially to birds who have bird flu because then it can affect their birds and it is very serious. So if there is a bird flu warning in your area, please do not take branches from outside. But again, just be very careful about what you're bringing in. Make sure the branches as well are nice and healthy. They're not rotten or anything like that. If they've got any kind of um, green stuff on them, they need to be sanitized as all kind of branches do from the outside. And if you'd like to know how to sanitize your branches, I'm gonna leave a link to a video down in the description to Love of Pets' channel. She's got a really great video on loads of different ways that you can sanitize branches. You might find a way that works for you. So go and check out that as well if you're looking to sanitize branches from the outside. So next let's talk about plastic perches. These often come with a certain brand of cage. They aren't great, throw them out. Uh, I don't even recommend having them as part of like a, a very kind of perch setup. I don't think they're very good at all. They are very smooth and they do cause a lot of rubbing on your bird's foot pads. I think there are lots of different alternatives you could use instead. Um, so I'd highly recommend throwing those out and replacing them with something else. And before I get on to some kind of tips and tricks with perches, I wanted to talk about one other, which are dowel perches. Now we've all heard about dowel perches and how terrible they are and things like that. And I wanted to kind of bust a slight kind of myth with that. Say for example, you have a nice big cage and you've got one dowel perch in there and lots of other perches. That's fine. Your bird is gonna be perfectly safe. Their feet are not gonna fall off. That's absolutely fine if you have just the one dowel perch and lots of other variety of perches. There's no problem with that at all. The real problem comes when you only have dowel perches or very, very smooth perches in there with no texture. That's when you're gonna get lots of problems with your bird's feet. It's not very good for them. They need lots of different textures and diameters and things like that to keep their feet nice and healthy. So one dowel is fine. Any more than that and I'd be looking to replace them. You may have seen our bird cages and thought, oh, we have loads of dowels in there. It's not the case. We actually had custom perches made by the Natural Bird Product Company out of birch wood, and they are very long. They've got fixings on either end, so they kind of replaced the dowel, uh, but they have loads of textures and uh, diameters and things. So there are alternatives. Again, for this video, there's gonna be loads of resources down in the description if you want to know more about where you can get different things, uh, what woods to use, uh, the Natural Bird Product Company as well. So do go and check that out after this video. So now I've talked about lots of different varieties of perches, let's go through a few tips and tricks before the end of the video so you can know how to kind of place things properly. So let's talk about sleeping perches now. So with them, we recommend having those nice natural branches and have them in the back, right and left top corners of your bird's cage. That's generally where birds feel nice and safe with sleeping. You want just a nice kind of simple perch back there in either corner to give them options. You also want to make sure that you're not crowding loads of perches in a certain area or areas where perches are going to be above others so your birds are going to poop all over them and you're going to have loads more cleaning to do. You definitely don't want that. Another thing as well is when you do put lots of new perches in your bird's cage, do just observe them for a little while just to see how they're maneuvering the cage because you might find that some are too far away, some are too close. So it's always really good just when you uh, put new furnishings in there just to make sure that they can actually move around properly. So I also wanted to talk about diameter size because this is something I get questions about all the time, you know, what kind of size perches should I have for my birds? And you do want to have a lot of variety because it does allow your bird to exercise their feet and move around. Those flat perches are brilliant for allowing your bird's feet to kind of stretch out. However, you do not want perches that are this big. I definitely made a boo-boo here with uh, buying a really big perch. I thought it was a medium, but apparently mediums are humongous. Um, this is a bamboo perch. It's really fantastic. It's got all these lovely natural bits at the end, but this is way too big for my birds because the diameter is too large. And if they try and grip on this, they're not gonna be able to do it. Um, so they're gonna be slipping around. It's not like a flat perch where the feet is normally flat and it's not like a perch that they can actually grip on properly. It's kind of somewhere in between. So you need to be really mindful about how big the perches are that you offer your birds. Generally speaking, for the majority of the perches, you want their feet to be able to go around the perch about three quarters of the way. That's a nice perch for your bird's feet, but you can have some different ones, slightly bigger, slightly smaller too. But ones that are this big, not ideal. So I'm actually gonna put this in the loft because hopefully one day we'll have a bigger bird. Who knows, keep your fingers crossed for us. 
So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the different kinds of perches you can offer to your birds. As I said, if there's some that I haven't mentioned, please leave me a comment down below and I'd love to speak to you about all different kinds of perches or anything bird related, of course. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Definitely go and check out the foot health video. I'm gonna have it here, go and click on it now. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later.